And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some big brain bubble bear. Finally going to bring some bubble bear to the channel. Got a donation deck here from Amuni for some bubble bear. Uh, we're calling this big brain bubble bear because we're combining bubble bear with mind meld. And so this is our big brain card. Um, so that's that's our deck. So we want this card. Uh, it says this round set allies power and health to the number of spells you've played this game. So we need to play a lot of spells so that our mind meld can set our units to be a large um, unit. So we're going to uh, go to Ionia to help out with casting a bunch of spells, especially something like Retreat Return. Retreat Return works really well with Bubble Bear because you can play Bubble Bear, have it just sit there and block for you and then whenever it gets down low on health like let's say it blocks a 4-4 now it's just an 0-2 well you can retreat and bring it back to your hand and then return put it back into play and now you got no six again to be able to sit there and block for you retreat return is pretty cool with black market merchants as well not really the return part but the retreat and then recast um, and of course works great with shadow assassin uh, but yeah we're also also going fizz so we're, we're going pretty elusives here you know fizz is elusive the golden narwhal elusive of course bubble bear and shadow assassin so we're going getting some elusives but not like two all in but we're getting some elusives here with the mind meld so it'll be a fun one to play let's we're gonna play it over in normal we're calling this one a meme tier deck with it having bubble bear and mind meld and things like that i know it's not meme tier monday but we got a a fun one here on this thursday to play yeah so hopefully we can get like two elusives in and have a real good mind meld and uh, finish the game like that. Nocturne Diana sounds pretty aggressive. I don't know if we want... Really, I could see Mulligan Inc. all of these cards, to be honest. If we don't have anything to turn on, Black Market Merchant, Shadow Assassin seems pretty small. Um, Con Concussive Palm blocks fearsome and also slows them down so i guess i want con concussive palm but i don't really want both we'll keep one coral creatures good way to get uh cheap spells for mind meld I wonder if Mind Meld, Bubble Bear, if that'd be better, maybe instead of Ionia, maybe better with Targon, where you can have all the gems, right? Like, if you can just play a whole bunch of gems in Targon, that seems pretty awesome for Mind Meld. And gems seem pretty good with Bubble Bear as well. All right, we'll play... Our Shadow Assassin that we got for free from the Pool Shark. Yeah, when you were saying Bubble Bear Mind Meld, that's where my, my uh, thoughts went to start with. Alright, just gonna red card. Let's see. Never lost a fair game. Now we should gold card turn this Lunari Shade Stalker into being a two one so that our Shadow Assassin trades with it. So I wanna get Shad or I wanna get uh Twisted Fate in play. So maybe we will level up Twisted Fate. Who knows? We have extra card draw with Black Market Merchant, Shadow Assassin, Deep Meditation. We got a lot of things that can draw some cards for us. This is like the deck that got nerfed. <laughs> like what we're playing, like all these cards, nerf, nerf, nerf. Steel Tempest got buffed.
This card's probably pretty good with, with Bubble Bear. Make it a 2-8 elusive. These fading memories are taking all of my units. Don't think that's how they're supposed to be. Using fading memories, though. Okay, let's see. Let's go with... Concussive Palm on this Mentor of the Stones. Let's keep that from attacking. And then just get a 3 2 that can block their 3 2. Alright, not too bad because we have the Steel Tempest that can stun Diana. Because I assume they're going to have Diana challenge the Twisted Bait, would be my assumption. Whatever the cost. And that will be our second spell. You cannot escape. So second spell, so that means these next turns we got deep meditations costing three mana. What? You want to just make a, a new Nightfall unit. Uh, so we're at two, so this is going to be four, six. Do that or I just play two Shadow Assassins. No, let's, let's draw four. Pilfer Goods also nerfed. Face me. We've got Stun Diana again, keep Twisted Fate alive, and then play Shadow Assassin. Or play Warring Shot, Black Marker Merchant, Pilfer Goods, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we have leveled up Twisted Fate. And then Profit. Because now we're at 7 out of 8. We'll make that 8. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think Coral Creatures can make Dusk Petal. I would think so. I guess if it's in your region. Yeah, because it's just a random one cost spell from your regions. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't get to play two things, right? The whole burst thing. Oh, I should have I should have just played the Pilfer Goods also here because I wanted to go red card. I wanted to to kill the, this Mentor of the Stones before it buffed up stuff. Yeah, that that's a mistake by me. I should have just gone Pilfer Goods also. I of course wanted to play Black Market Merchant first. All right, well thankfully they messed up. So we could just play two spells and then gold card that. So gold card's already going to take care of. No gills, no entry. Gotta trust your instincts. I guess one of the cards got burned, but I only have nine cards in hand. Oh, I guess it, it counts as the Steel Tempest counts as being in, in hand. One of the cards got burned. Oh, well. We don't need it anyway. My meld's going to make these things pretty big. We're at seven. That is not a good play. That Vile Feast, because now that card just dies to red card. Or, yeah, or I guess they just don't even get that Spiderling anyway. Alright. 
Ooh. Interesting. Is. I do like this that we could try to set up later. I do like this like mind meld plus playful trickster because you know mind meld is only for one turn. That could be pretty cool. All beauty is transient. I do like that. These will make these all eight eights. I'm going to play a Mind Meld here. I'm going to play a Mind Meld in a minute. Going to make some 8-8s. Eight and that should finish the game out for us. First my meld. And opponent surrenders. We're gonna turn everything in our deck into 8 8s. All we need is two of them to hit them because they're at 16. The ocean wins again. And the ocean wins again. Alright, first my meld, no bubble bear yet. We'll give this one a shot. I sure wish Shadow Assassin was a 2-2. Oh boy, here I go. But we're gonna give this a shot. This is gonna be fun. I know, they, they conceded so we didn't get the cool mind meld animation. I know, I wanted that animation too. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I'm hoping they have good cards. That we get to take. Really, the question is Shadow Assassin first, or. To the face. Or if we just pull for goods. I'm going to pilfer goods, honestly. <laughs> Their cards are probably going to be better than mine. So we'll just go with the draw two. Of course, I, I still have like the rush that can protect Fizz if we need to protect Fizz no from something. Why is an abbing card so fun? I guess because you, you never know what you're going to get. Alright, trying to not to take as much damage. So coral creatures can just take some of it. <laughs> All right, Mage Seeker Conservator is a great one-drop. That could be very useful, creating a spell for us. That could be very useful. Yeah, it could give us Mind Meld. That's possible. Bless is motion. To show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. So, guess we need to kill Miss Fortune with the Concerted Strike. It's probably more important to kill than Quinn. I wonder if they block with Quinn. By attack. I'm ready. This is our way. Probably not. 
Wow, just let me get all this damage in. Free damage. Oh, that's a good one. Just like hunting thresher geese. You've made your path. That's good. That'll stun the valor. Um. So what else we get? Je Jettison. Still heart, steady aim. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Search that. Who will do not doubt? That's five out of six for Fizz. Gross. The woods protect us. Whoa, Dawn and Dusk Fizz? Okay. Okay. So now, okay. So Dawn and Dusk is going to level up Fizz. The question is, so will I get three twos or will they be two ones? It's like, do I have to play a spell first or can I wait till afterwards? We have five out of six. Will we get three three twos? Because obviously we need three three twos because they're at nine. And I kind of just want to play it for science. I'm just going to do this for science. If it doesn't work out for us, it doesn't work out. But I, I think these should be leveled up. Okay, so no, it does give us all two ones. Oh, right, but they just level up anyway. Okay, so it, it does just give you the two ones. But whenever one levels up, they all level up anyway. Okay. It doesn't make them elusive, though. Like, these don't get the elusive, because this didn't have the elusive. So I did need to play the spell before to give them elusive. But you're right, I can just play it afterwards. Want to draw a warning shot? Warning shot. Nope. Oh. Well, now these are elusive. Triple fizz. Let's go. We had unyielding Quinn versus triple fizz. Here, Sharky Sharky. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes your pilfered goods turns into a, um, an island navigator that gets you a mage seeker, uh, that then dies and gets you a dawn and dusk. You never know. Sometimes that happens. All right, my plan is they pass. Pass. That's my plan. Pass. No, they didn't pass. They were supposed to pass. Because then, then, then we would have the attack token. We would hit them with Fizz and play Black Market Merchant. Ugh. I could go Coral Creatures, get a one-cost spell, cast that one-cost spell for my Fizz to be elusive. So it's probably better just to have this. Oh, Fleet Feather Tracker is great. At least not Misfortune. Yeah, that doesn't help. Do you got a bubble bear? Fortunately, attacks for zero, and we need them to take damage for these black market merchants. Okay, okay. Do you have a twisted faint? 
That can goal card away a Badger Bear. Which I guess that's the best thing for us to do. I don't really want to do that. Parlay. I'm going to set up red card. Instead. It took it. Thank you. He started without me. Don't know exactly why they took it, but they took it. We Demacians are no easy trip. And there we go. Wanted to red card the Valor. So that's why I was kind of playing the way that I was playing was that expecting Quinn and Valor and wanting to red card Valor. Alright, well now we're now we're in trouble. Still heart, steady aim. We do have backup twisted fate. Camp block. I'll do my best. Say your farewells. No outsiders. That's not even worth it. So all these things have two health. Okay, ready. So we're still setting up Twisted Fate red card. Wow, they just do not want to block. Fortune favors the bold. Fate. Fortune. Please no more. Yay. No more Rangers Resolve. Hopefully. Nice <laughs> Alright, they're down to eight. Let's be a good mind meld. Where are we looking? We got... Oh, we've only played two spells? Okay, maybe not a good my meld. No. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Uh, that means that I can't keep Twisted Fate alive. This is just gonna hurt. This is just going to hurt. Got your back. All right, so at least going with this, so they don't get any free kills. Just like hunting thresher geese. I mean, they can. I guess they get a free kill with the rear guard, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> First time playing Bubba Bear. Bubba. Aim. 
All right, come on, my meld. I mean, my meld will only set our things to three threes, but it'll just be better than what they are right now. Or a pill for goods. Concussive palm. What does that do? We stun Quinn. Attack out. These are both two out of four right now. That doesn't really help. I'll do better this time. Quickly! This is kind of the problem with playing a bunch of bad cards. Warning shot, coral creatures, bubble bear, these cards aren't doing a whole lot. They do keep taking this damage though. We are getting closer and closer. Hopefully they play something pre-combat that's not a uh, Scout and I get to Soldiers to me. Yay. Alright, stun both of those. They don't get the scout attack. Don't get the Cythria attack. If we just draw mind meld, we can have Bubble Bear do three damage. We can have Bubble Bear lethal. Come on, my Mel. We need big brain plays here. We need big brain bubble bear. Oh, yes. Pass turn. Come on. Oh, that doesn't... <laughs> Look at that tiny concussive bomb. Can't imagine this works. And they just let damage go through. But obviously they attack, I lose. I have I, I really think that I have maximized this game and I've gotten the closest that we possibly could get to winning this game. Darn. Just hoping they just maybe didn't have like one you know, maybe one of the coral creatures could have gotten through, and then we top deck another warning shot. Obviously, two of them getting through would have been amazing. Bubble Bear versus the world. Obviously, like, we weren't surviving with, with those blockers anyway, with Cythria. Like, it, those cards didn't really matter. Like, we weren't going to survive anyway. Just like honey thresher geese. Yeah, deep meditation into two warning shots. Um, yeah, I mean, it's over. Wasn't far off from winning that. Do you kind of wonder what Bubble Bear and Mind Meld would be like with Targon, though? Kind of not sure any of, if any of these Ionia cards have been helping us out. I mean, I guess like Steel Tempest and Concussive Palm have been helping me not die. But like Shadow Assassin is so meh. We get like Pale Cascade. That, that helps out Fizz too. Pale Cascade's Tarkon, right? Yeah. Oh, and you can have the two mana, the heal card, like the heal two draw card, so we could heal our bubble bear.
You don't usually see one drops that kill two threes. But they had one. So probably going Black Market Merchant here. We'll see what they do. No red card kills both of those, but these aren't scary. Quite right, quite right. That card's scary. I don't have any removal for it. Maybe they do. Nope. Hmm. All right, now we're denying this. Especially with them getting the plus two, plus two. So if we go gold card now, Von Yip will go to one health. But I don't know how we're going to kill Von Yip. From there so it's just like what what's really the point of that it's, I guess better just to do the red card and clear up these things yeah so comments yeah you just uh, click on the the ties button underneath the the chat click on that and then there's a, a, a donation deck for 10,000 points and you just uh, click on that and then uh, boo. And then make sure you you know put in the deck code or deck idea or whatever you want and give me some some information uh, to help help me out. You know, like or you know if if you want me to make the deck, um, if you want. I mean, we're we're just pretty dead. I can't I can't kill a Professor Von Yep. If you want, um, if you want me to play it on a certain day, I'm sorry. If you want me to play it on a certain day, then let me know what day you want me to play it. In there. Do you have removal. Yay, you have removal. Because I do not have removal. Okay. Looks like trouble. What? All right, four four, Bubba Bear can block these three threes. So they have seven damage here, but of course I have the health potion.
Twisted Fate's at 4 out of 8. We need to keep trying to draw cards for it. You'll hurt somebody. No gills, no entry. Oh, I don't want to block with Twisted Fate. Me going down to two. Cool. Gotta risk it. Gotta risk it. So we draw our next card, that's six. Shadow Assassin is seven. Steel Tempest. Don't. <clears throat> Don't help me immediately. Oh no. That probably means burn spell. I hope not. Get another. Darn. So for another one of those gain threes, another health potion. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Silky Mitts. No, we were so close. Twisted Fate was at seven. Uh, Spray Fin just grabbed that thermogenic beam. We were so close. Yeah, yeah, you did that right. What kind of deck is it, Silky Mitts? And do you want me to... Is there any specific day you want me to play it? So they just played the Mushroom Cloud to give me five Puff Caps. So obviously our very first card was a Puff Cap. So yeah, can you tell me what is your deck and when would you like me to play it? Alright, find a Deny. Deny. No. Um... I guess I don't get to Concussive Palm because we're into Triple Steel Tempest. So they're all 6-6s. Six they got the cool Mind Meld animation. Steel Tempest. Stun, stun, stun. Okay. Karma Leona Daybreak Control. Cool. Okay. You don't really mind any, any time? Really? Deny your one more card down for that mind meld. One more card down. Uh... I mean, I can't, like, pass to them and let them attack without me having this blocker. Yeah, 
Yeah, playing the mind meld mirror. They had their mind meld. The PNZ cards have looked better than the Ionia cards. I kind of think that's the problem with our deck is Ionia, like none of these Ionia cards are very good. I think that's the biggest problem with our deck. Alright, now we're, looks like we're playing against elusives. We got a big elusive blocker. With an 06. Sure, we'll keep double Black Market Merchant, take their elusives, make them cost zero. Okay. Alright, sounds good, Silky Mets. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. Alright, so probably not playing the other warning shot until turn four, right? When we can have double merchant. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Probably. Shadow Assassin, that's a great one to take. Without a sound. Uh All right, so Zed doesn't level up. Trade here. Sure, don't trade here. Either way. That's fine. It is turn four, but... So I'm going to go gold card um, to take out Zed. That's my plan is gold card. Never lost a fair game. They just used their Elixir of Iron. Hopefully they don't have another... That's not... That can't be a good play, right? Like, they just wasted three mana, and they're in the exact same spot that they were before. With a Zed in hand. So they just spent three mana to put another Zed in their deck. They could have instead just let that happen and then spend three mana and cast Zed again. Fates at two. Let's move. Yeah, I love no green blade duo attack. You cannot escape. Just get a nice easy block here. Be able to keep black market merchant alive. <sighs> Yeah, because we can get these things, basically, we can get these costing zero. Sounds good to me. Three. Four for turn, five for merchant, seven pilfered goods. So close. Thank you. I'll take that. Free cards, literally. We're not only taking them for free, but then also they're going to be costing zero mana. So free cards. A 
visitations at hell. Free cards. <laughs> GG's. I guess they didn't like the triple black market merchant. He's costing zero mana. All right, so there's our big brain bubble bear. Um, yeah, it was it was all right. You know, like I mean, we did go three and two over there in at normal. Uh, we didn't have you know our opponents made a few mistakes, uh, which helped us out, and you know wasn't the the most meta of decks either. But um, you know it was all right. We only got to play mind meld one time, but our opponent you know conceded right away it was a game winning spell but we never really got to do anything with bubble bear we only got to play it one game unfortunately but yeah i think we'll have to try this out with targon the ionia cards are are pretty meh like shadow assassin just is really meh right now um the the steel tempest and the concussive palm were both good those were both good cards of keeping our opponents from attacking keeping them doing damage and that kind of stuff deny was pretty good as well i mean deep meditations good but i mean Still, just overall, um, Golden Narwhal, eh. eh. I, I think that Targon would probably be a better region to kind of pair this with, because I think you have a lot of good stuff with Targon. You know, of course, so we're talking about, like, gem, you know, getting gems to be able to buff up Bubble Bear's power. Um, so you have, like, the gems with Gift Giver. Um, as far as casting spells, like, Behold the Infinite is a good spell. Guiding Touch. Good spell, it heals your bubble bear. Pale Cascade is just like the best spell. Um, but then Lunari Shade Stalker, another really good elusive. Um, you know, so you can have all of those. You can get some spell shields if you want. You can have some Hush. We found that Hush is just amazing. Um, but then Mentor the Stones, get all those gems, support the bubble bear. Um, of course, Shards of the Mountain, fill the hand with gems. I kind of feel like Targon. Like, that kind of stuff would maybe be better. Um, you know, like, maybe even a star shaping in this kind of deck just to heal five, get something big. Um, you know, cast another spell. If we need a removal. <clears throat> yeah, so that... Yeah, you'll see a gem, gem bubble bear. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that for memes here Monday. A gem... Bubble Bear. But that this is Big Brain Bubble Bear. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know um, what you think of the deck, any any kind of comments, what else you want to see on the channel. Um, all those comments, are, I really, really appreciate them if you take some time to, to leave some. So thank you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Big Brain Bubble Bear, and I'll see you for the next video.